Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Augustus, and I'm back again with another episode of Tsukihime. When we last left off, we, uh, well, we confessed our love to Arcoid. Well, not quite, but kinda sorta, in a way, I mean. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I don't actually know what word was used, uh, and I, I don't, it wouldn't matter anyway, to be fair. Um, but if I recall correctly, depending on the intonation or... Yeah, I, got, I can't remember. There's a thing, I think, with Japanese language that there's like, and then there's like, like, love, and then there's love, I think. If, I, if I'm not completely misremembering. I just remember that being kind of a difficult thing to, uh, to translate, I think. And I've read like translator notes in... Uh, various things that, um, hey, it's this version of this word, this is what they mean by that, and, you know, so on and so forth. But, yeah, but, I can't think of anything else, God. Anyway, let's get back into it, shall we? I get back to the mansion. It's about 1.30 in the morning. Not quite. Not you know, it's closer to that than not my time, anyway. <laughs> uh, it's late, and yet it's very, so very hot. The mansion is completely dark. This can't be good. I put my hand on the mansion gate. ka -ching. A sturdy chain holds it closed. Dang. I shouldn't cut this. I think a bit. Then... I decide to climb over the gate, and he gets shot by sentries and guards because this is a fucking mansion and they're fucking rich. Whatever. I'm exhausted. After sneaking over the wall like a thief, I quietly make my way to the doorway. The gate was locked, but the door isn't. It must have been Hisui. I give a sigh of thanks. So as to not wake up Akia, Kohaku-san, or Hisui, I sneak my way through the mansion. Aw, oh, no, uh, well, it's not until later anyway, to be fair. Oh, well. Oh, well. Whew. Not even in this, I think, god, I think that's in this route, because this has the other thing that I know is in this route, because it's the only possible thing, and I'm pretty sure it's related. Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, oh, whatever. Letting out a breath, I lay down on the bed. My promise to Arcoid. Maybe it's fate, but you've gotten yourself tangled up in, a, in, in trouble again, Tonoshiki. Could I help it? I just can't leave her alone. Or maybe I didn't want to leave her alone. Maybe I didn't want to leave her alone. Well, I do like Arcoid. But is that love? I don't even know my feelings. At any rate, it looks like I'll be helping Arcoid once again starting tomorrow. It was also probably the most uneventful uh, entering of the mansion that Shiki has ever had. At least, nighttime entry. Because I could have swore he was going to have like an encounter with fucking uh, Batty McBandage face. And, you know. But apparently, apparently fucking not. Apparently I'm just an idiot. So for now, I shouldn't be thinking of anything else but getting a good night's sleep. Well, that's annoying. I actually was expecting there to be quite a bit more. Uh, I mean, I know what, like, to the night. Yeah, I, I know about this, but I, I was expecting there to be quite a bit more at the, uh, the mansion gate. How disappointing. I can't sleep, and I know the feeling. If I close my eyes, so many things come to mind. About Arcoid. About this vampire lurking the streets. About the black-clothed senpai. I can't sleep. At times like this, reading is good. I know there was a book I was reading before. I love these scenes. I think I mentioned it before, but there's something about these scenes that I really, really, really like. It. I don't know what exactly it is about them that makes me like. Cause I don't. I don't. Th or I think I'm probably the only one that really feels this way. But these are my favorite scenes in CL's route. I don't know what it is. I love, I love these scenes. Anyway, 
The first feeling was rather one out of pity. Not anger, not despair, just I thought everything before my eyes was pitiful. Of course, the most pitiful thing is myself. Life which breaks down without limit. Daily life which fades without limit. Time which is forgotten without limit. Everyone only falls. And yet, everyone still struggles desperately to continue existing, and when they judge that is not possible, they continue to reproduce. Continuing to reproduce. In the end, even that dies, but there is no recomps recompensation. Yeah. I'm a bit too, uh, I'm not a lot intoxicated, actually. I can't really use that as an excuse. Yeah, I'm very tired, though. Of course, it is not those who die who are not recompensated. Recompensated. Their fucking words are... I can read, theoretically. We had no hope to begin with. What is not recommended are the attempts. The noble wish, the yearning for eternity, which everyone longs for yet cannot achieve. I have no interest whatsoever in the things that break down. If I could see death and understand it, maybe I'll take a bit of an interest. A repetition nearly impossible to measure, yet this wish repeats itself. I thought to replace this almost comical cycle of wishes with one pure thing. There is no need to state the method. A wish becomes a result after it is granted. I lived solely for that reason. It could not be termed conviction. Just the first word I learned happened to be eternity. Oh, so you intend to get the eternity closest to you? Of course not. They are only a species that ages slower and dies harder. I am becoming one of them only because this body has reached its limit. If I am to go further on, it will take time in this body. It's ironic that you, the one that goes after eternity, hurries with things. So you plan on leaving here tomorrow? I'll leave the burial agency to you. In the first place, there is only one empty seat for the priesthood. I used up all my father's inheritance getting this far, so it's about time I quit. Well, that's fine. So, you are going to complete your magic theory? I have no intention of leaving here, and I can't live with you. Well, fortunately, I am a woman. I'll quickly bear a child and tell it all about you. Oh. What will you tell it, Narberek? Let's see. I'll tell it something like, after a hundred years, another newcomer dead apostle will appear. It is pointless to take notice of him, so ignore him. No, you wouldn't need to wait a hundred years. Just like here, I will rise quickly to the top. This body will become the most superior vampire, so ten years will be enough. How foolish. Even if it is you, you would need at least a hundred years if you start over from the dead. Their world's intensity is nowhere as nice as ours. Using direct methods, then you would be right. But if I become the strongest vampire from the beginning, their world's rules will not apply to me. What do you mean by that? It is simple. As a priest of the church, you certainly know that the dead apostles' power are affected by the true ancestor that sucked their blood. Therefore, the solution is very simple. If I wish to become the strongest dead apostle, this blood of mine, it must be sucked by the strongest of the true ancestors. Like I said, there's something about those that strikes my fancy, and I think, uh, I think it's my interest in like weird, uh, late 
20th century early or no other way around uh late 19th century early 20th century like science and fantasy magic science bullshit um like gothic storytelling as well i I don't know it's just so interesting to me just the way that it is the way that it's presented the uh i don't know reminds me a lot of uh like frankenstein and dracula although dracula i'm i have opinions about that but i do like frankenstein at least my memory of it i haven't read it since high school Ah, I haven't read that since high school. God, I should read it again at some point. I probably own it. Or maybe I don't. Whatever. Seven. Bow in the Sky 2. I'm watching a dream. A vague dream without any particular significance. Do I like her? I don't know my true feelings, but I can't deny the reality that I'm always concerned about her. Do I like her? I don't know. It's just that when I was completely lost within myself, she helped me. If she wasn't there, I may have just died under the pouring rain. I don't know. That's why I have to ask why she is doing this, why her eyes are so devoid of any emotion. Shiki-sama, I can hear Hisui's voice mingling with the morning light. Shiki-sama, it is time. Please wake up. Her inflectionless voice awakens me. As soon as I wake up, terrible things enter my vision. I get a headache like I was just shot in the head. Ah. I almost lose my just awakened consciousness. Before I fade away completely, I quickly grab my glasses. Shiki-sama, are you not feeling well? No, that's not it. It's just my anemia acting up. Lightly shaking my head, I clear my head of what I was just seeing. More than that, good morning, Isui. Thanks for waking me up. Sitting up in bed, I do my best to smile naturally. No, this is my duty. There is no need for you to thank me, Shiki-sama. Maybe. But I am grateful. You are infinitely better than an alarm clock. I stand up. It's not yet seven o'clock, about ten minutes earlier than I usually get up. Hmm, breakfast? I'll be there soon, so please go on ahead of me. Shiki-sama, about that, um, Akia is waiting for you in the sitting room. It seems she has some questions for you. Hisui says this with some difficulty. Something she needs to ask? Is she in a bad mood? Yes. Akiya-sama seems to have realized that she left late last night, Shiki. Uh, uh, I blurt that out without thinking. Last night, I went to look for Arcoid and came home late. Uh Uh-oh, I thought no one noticed. Yes, I also thought I was the only one who noticed. Hisui answers solemnly. Hisui, you realized I left? Oh, Hisui looks very apologetic. I see, you knew. No wonder the mansion's entrance was open. Yes. Hisui answers reluctant. Thanks, it was a big help. And thanks for going out of your way to do that. But Nissan realized too because of that. Nissan and I have two hour shifts watching the mansion. And she found out about me unlocking the entrance. I see now. Kohaku-san is Akia's servant, so she would have leaked it to Akia about last night. Hisui, 
There's no need to apologize. It was my fault that I was walking around at night, so I should take the blame. I'm still very happy that you left the door open. He's sweet, just looks at me. Hmm? It is nothing. As soon as you change, please go to the sitting room. Still looking like she wants to say something, Hisui exits into the hallway. Dang, I'm gonna get scolded by Akia again. I mutter to myself as I change. If I have time for that, there's still something important I have to do instead. That's right, I have to talk to Senpai. I get the headache again. It faded when I was talking to Hisui, but as soon as she left, it starts hurting again. Ugh, crap. This doesn't look like it will end soon. I bear the pain as I collapse on the bed. It doesn't ease up. Throb. Throb. A pain like I'm being stabbed in the head. It makes me completely forget what I was thinking about earlier. Come to think of it, in the eight years since that accident, I've always had to deal with my broken body. Dizziness, headaches, and anemia occurring unexpectedly. I can't count how many things I had to give up because of that. The doctor said it was a miracle just surviving. Just being able to live is a miracle, so putting up with various pains is perhaps necessary. These broken eyes. Sensei, who was ab able to alleviate these eyes, told me to treat that miracle very importantly. Those words. Did she mean that human life is not so much precious as it is not returnable, so I should treat it carefully? These past few days, I've seen the deaths of many people. Too easily. Lives ending so easily, it's almost comical. If it is something that ends so easily, doesn't it mean that it was only worth that much from the beginning? If that's the case, it is meaningless to view life as precious. Uh, uh, why? Since when am I? Did you start thinking like this? I think it's basically why am I thinking like this? Since when did you start thinking like this? Is the uh, how it's supposed to kind of catch. And I think that's a bit more telling. It's a bit harder to do with English because I think with Japanese, you could. Uh, traditional writing is. Uh, up, uh, no, never mind. I have no fucking clue. Don't. No, I'm not even going to try to even think about that. I've only seen Japanese writing in. Uh, uh, right to left, I believe. Yeah. Um, when attempting to learn Japanese. And that's, that's fucking it. I should not speculate about things I have no idea about. Sigh. The headache finally stops. Maybe I saw too much blood. What a horrible thought. I take a deep breath. Filling my lungs with fresh air, I clear away the unpleasantness. I should hurry up and go to school. I should go and see CL Senpai. Enduring the slight pain lingering in my head, I leave the room. I go down the stairs and into the lobby. Next to me is the hallway that goes down the sitting room. In front of me is the front door that leads outside. What should I do? Akia is waiting in the sitting room, but I want to hurry up and see Senpai. Hmm, this is actually an interesting choice, and I will get to why after I take a very quick drink of my drink. Hmm, I think I put a bit too much vodka in that. Oh well, no such thing. <laughs> uh, that's not true, there can absolutely be vodka and things. But then again, I also like, uh, you know vodka and halfway needs or I halfway like drinking vodka needs so there's fucking no sign about that I don't do it much I don't do it at all really um I just I don't know it's pleasant to sip on occasionally though I haven't done it in a very long time um 
I'm going to go into why, I think, looking at the time this episode has gone. I'm going to go into why this is an interesting choice. And, um, well, then I'm going to choose it next time. Because this is, we're at 20 minutes. Yeah, we're at t about 20 minutes now. And, uh, well, I believe the next scene is long-ish. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go with like 30, 40 minutes. Because I'm lose track of time because I'm reading and invested in the story and damn you Nasu for writing enjoyable things um, but this um, this is a very interesting choice in that both of these choices uh, well there's the two immediate options and then there are four separate scenes for each one of these I think I think technically after the initial scene, they each lead into the same four, uh, four options of choices that you could have depending on which flags you have. Um, because they have the same qualifiers like flag C equals zero, flag L equals zero, flag uh, C greater than or equal to one, flag L greater than or equal to one, flag C zero, flag L one, flag C one, flag C uh, flag L zero. Um, and those are the trigger options, but I yeah, there are four choices with that, and I think it's I think it's interesting because you can kind of uh, tailor that one to a lot of different things, and I don't remember exactly um, which choices laid to uh, flag C and flag L. I'd have to go back and check, and I don't really want to do that too much. Um, but yeah, we I'm fairly certain we have both flag C and flag L because I usually. Uh, I usually make it a point to get flags, um, sometimes because they lead to bad ends, and sometimes because they lead to more interesting scenes, um, because usually it's you need to do special something or other to get the flag and drop my phone. Uh, <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Every time I set it on my lap and like not holding it, I drop my goddamn phone. Uh, um, yeah, that's... I usually make it a uh, make a point to get flags. So unless there was one that you had to specifically get without getting regard or giving up regard to get, I think I think I should have both of them. I think actually one of the flags we get we get for uh, um watching the H scene with CL. So there is that. As a matter of fact, I actually that's not that many choices behind. So unless we go look at that. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, nope, that's actually a very different flag, so I have no fucking clue what f those flags are are from. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, we have flag C, for sure. For sure, because that was when we asked about CL, because it was, I passed it when I was scrolling back to where we currently are. Um, so yeah, next time, um, well, I'm not actually 100% sure. I'm going to have to think about what choice we're going to choose. Hmm, the suspense. Hmm, which will it be? Will we go to the sitting room or will we go to school? Hmm, probably going to go to school, to be fair. Because, I mean, it's CL's route. we got to spend time with CL. But going to the sitting room might be interesting because I do quite like Akia scolding us, if you know what I mean. Ha ha, ha ha, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, but anyway, I hope to see you all next time in Tsukihime. Hey.